Pisces, this is your monthly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'll go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Pisces and I upload Pisces readings every single week. Also, if it does not resonate with you, then I highly recommend you checking out your moon rising and Venus signs to get a bigger picture of what's going on. I'll pull some oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. Okay, Pisces. Breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand. Ascending the mountain, keep going forward. <clears throat> Solitude and peace. In silence, peace prevails. And what you're not seeing, watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. This is interesting, Pisces. I feel like for the month of June, there's like some sort of accomplishment that you're going to that you're going to, you're, you're going to accomplish something in the month of June that's going to be able to project you into a, a more positive direction. And then I feel like once you do, then you'll actually be able to like kind of coast for a second. There's, I feel like there's just some information that you're missing as of right now. Whoops. I will lay the tarot cards down and then I will go over them. This card lying out. <clears throat> Death. Four of Cups. Nine of Cups. Six of Cups. Lovers. Judgment. And the overall energy is the two of pentacles. Movement. So to be able to break this trail, ascending this mountain, that's exactly what this two of pentacles is saying. It's like you're finally moving from one place to the next. Um, to be able to do this, there has been there has been a lot of change, a lot of self-reflecting, a lot of coming into the re realization of where you want to go, what you want to do, how you want to do it, um, what you're willing and not willing to accept in your life anymore. This breaking a trail is, um, it's overcoming a major obstacle in your life. This could be with work or this could be with family, or this could honestly just be like, a conscious awakening, especially because of this Four of Cups here. I'm feeling like there is a deeper connection with people, though, in your life. Or it could be like a connection with your kids or a connection with your just somebody close to you. I feel like there is a, a rebuilding of a connection. There is a choice here that needs to be made of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Even if this is a deep relationship with somebody, for movement, for this relationship to progress, for this relationship to thrive, there has to be a willingness to respect the other person's boundaries. What you're looking for, what you want, I feel like is going to happen. There's like a major obstacle that you're overcoming in the month of June. And it's all because of this transformation, this change. It's almost like because of this change, that's what actually makes you be able to like whatever obstacle was in your path to be able to move on, to be able to progress. That transformation removes that obstacle. And it doesn't just move it and you take a couple of steps. It's like you move this obstacle and you project you like miles and miles ahead. It's almost like a slingshot. But again, I also do feel like there is this like reconnection with self as well. So it's not just about overcoming obstacles with other people. This is about overcoming obstacles internally with your consciousness. 
it's like it's a real um looking at things i mean like normally this cup these people are looking away in like discontentment and they're unhappy with the love that's being offered to them or the situations that are being offered to them they're they're unhappy and they're unsatisfied there is a very much of like looking at this and being like oh I am satisfied in this situation. Oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. There's a truth, a decision and a truth that comes out by being true to yourself. That That is the truth, is you being true to yourself. Being true to um, the direction that you want to go with your life. It's like... I don't know exactly what happened or why there was an obstacle that you had to overcome, but whatever it was, it could have been as bad as sitting there thinking that things were never going to get better, that things were never going to progress. And it was out of nowhere that when you stopped thinking that way of like, oh, it's never going to happen, you opened up to the possibility of maybe it will maybe it's me that's that's holding myself back. Maybe it's me that's preventing this transformation. Maybe it's my thought process. And it's like, what if I did think of this in a different, different way? And that was what opened the door to this, like really looking at, taking a good hard look at the choices you make, the people in your life, and what is happiness and what is love? Okay, Pisces. In the extended, I'm going to clarify these. I'll also go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended, so make sure you bring those. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Pisces. And I upload Pisces readings every single week, and I do do a monthly reading as well. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.